You know, there are some people who let nothing stand in their way. The group at Adaptive Adventures live that way every single day. They provide outdoor sporting excursions for the physically disabled. Now with me right now is Matt Feeney. He's the co-founder and advancement director of Adaptive Adventures. Nice to see you again. Nice to see it's you. It's been like, what, six, seven years since I saw you last time. I believe so. I believe so. A Let, long time. Let's talk about Adaptive Adventures and, and just explain to the viewers what it's all about. Well, we're a Colorado-based nonprofit organization. Our mission is to provide progressive outdoor sports opportunities to improve the quality of life uh, for children, adults, and veterans with physical disabilities. Now, you mentioned children. Sila, who was on our first guest earlier, she went cycling with you guys that's before. Correct. So that's cool. That's correct. I was talking to her mom just a little while ago. People of all ages can get involved. How did it get started? Well, the organization was founded by myself and Joel Berman. Uh, we both suffered uh, life-changing injuries in the 80s. Joel had uh, uh, lost a leg above the knee in a railroad accident, and I had a spinal cord injury in a diving accident. We met skiing up in Winter Park about 20 years ago, and we founded uh, Adaptive Adventures in 1999. You said you injured yourself in a diving accident, so you've always been an athlete. Yes. You've always yes. loved sports. Is Absolutely. that why Adaptive Adventures focuses on sports? Yeah, we feel that, uh, well, Joel and I have always been passionate about sports. Yeah. And, but more than that, the benefits that sports um, creates, especially for someone with a disability. Um, you know, the increased level of fitness is, is there for everybody, but for someone with a disability, it can be a kind of a humbling experience mm -hmm. to, to live with a disability. So, uh, you know, the, the confidence you gain and the self-esteem you gain uh, through participating in sports can often carry over into other facets of your life. Absolutely. And in some cases can be life-changing. You're like, I just did that. Drop the mic. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. And what makes you different from other adaptive adventures? I mean, there are other programs out there that focuses on sports. Correct. Why choose you? Well, first and foremost, we're not site-based. We uh, have a lot of trailers, uh, um, a group of trailers that we put uh, different ad pieces of adaptive equipment in and we go to different venues. We call it bringing programs to people. So we might do a rafting, or I'm sorry, a paddling um, uh, program in uh, right. Bear Creek Lake Park uh, one week and then cycling in Wash Park the next week. So we're kind of all over the place. That's cool. And you're able to maintain this really affordably too. Absolutely. We, uh, we were able to subsidize a lot of our programs through different kinds of funding efforts and uh, through writing grants and getting corporate sponsors and from individual donors as well. Uh, one of the funner ways that we can raise money is through uh, fundraising events. And that brings us to Casino Night. That's yes, coming up, so yes. tell me about it. This weekend, Saturday night, um, uh, Casino Night in the Emerald City is at the uh, McNichols Civic Center building at 7 o'clock Saturday night. And this is a, a good opportunity to come out and have fun and support our organization yeah. at the same time. So should they just log on to the website to get tickets? Correct. Adaptiveadventures.org? Well, you or? can... Or you can log on to the uh, uh, EmeraldCityDenver.com. That's com. at the bottom of the screen right there. So EmeraldCityDenver.com to get more information or to buy tickets for Casino Night. Or you can support Adaptive Ad Ad Adventures. Let's try that again. <laughs> AdaptiveAdventures.org is their website. What is it like for you to see somebody that has a disability try something new and accomplish it? Well, it can be kind of inspiring for yeah. me because it kind of reminds me of when I was first getting into adaptive sports 26 years ago. So I kind of have an idea of what's ahead of them um, and, and the difference it can make in their lives. And uh, um, so it's exciting for me, too, to see them try something new and succeed and, and overcome a challenge. You know, I have use of both my legs, but I would be so scared to rock climb. So how do you get someone to overcome that fear, especially if they don't have the use of their legs? Well, the, something like rock climbing, first of all, we don't take them up to uh, El Dorado Canyon yeah, or, you make it, yeah, or Rocky Mountain steps. National Park. It, baby steps. Yeah. Uh, we take them to a, an indoor rock gym, and uh, it's in a very safe and nurturing environment, and we take it very slowly. And I think also what's beneficial to someone who's starting out in, in a, a, an activity like that, there's other people around that they can watch and, and yeah. learn and see that it's possible. I, I want to end with a message to someone watching. If, if they have a disability or someone in their family has just been affected by maybe an injury like you went through, what do you want to leave them with? What message? Well, the message is that, I mean, we all face challenges, some smaller than others, some bigger than others. Um, I'd like to think that uh, if they could come out and 
and get involved in sports and recreation. And I know it's not for everybody, but there's, you really have nothing to lose to come out, right. try something, and who knows, it may leave you with a big, lasting smile on your Absolutely. face and change your life. Meet a lot of great friends, too. Absolutely. Thank you very, very much. My pleasure. Again, you can help Adaptive Adventures in their mission to bring the excitement of outdoor sports to those with physical disabilities. Casino Night in the Emerald City is this Saturday, March 14th at 7 p.m. It's at McNichols Civic Center. For tickets, please go to this website. Go to emeraldcitydenver.com. If you'd like to learn more about Adaptive Adventures or to register for an adventure of your own, you can go to their website. Site. Go to adaptiveadventures.org.